Hi everybody, we're behind the scenes here with Christian Alfonso at the Shopping Channel. Hi Christian. Hi. So, um, you have so many fans that love your jewelry, uh, but not only for just the designs, but for the meaning behind it. Yes. So, why do you have, um, why did you choose the symbolism of the uh, fleur? The fleur de lis. Yes. The fleur de lis. And First, it means the, um, it's a French lily. And what I love about the fleur de lis, first of all, my mom um, introduced the fleur de lis to me when I was a very young girl, and I fell in love with it because it was so beautiful. But also, there's so many variations, and I love options, so I love that. Um, but also, it has such strength. It's such a beautiful, beautiful symbol. And we named each point. My first jewelry line is Hope, Faith, Miracles, because you have to have hope to have faith, to believe in miracles, and that's where the belief comes in. And what about the Maltese cross? We see that a lot as well. The Maltese cross represents honor to me and loyalty. I love that. I love things that mean something. And jewelry for myself, it's a piece of artwork, but it's something also that is reminding. It has timelines. I know every piece of jewelry that I've ever received is from a special event or possibly just something that I picked up for myself, but I could tell you exactly. My memory is not that great. I know a lot of people think, oh, she has such a great memory. You're an actress. You can memorize this in two seconds. It's not that way with me. Um, but this, but with jewelry, there's something about it that really tugs to my heart. And I could tell you every single place where I was, when it happened and when I received it and who I received it from. So how has having hope, faith, and belief helped you in your personal life? How, how is hope, faith, miracles, uh, in every aspect and belief also, my parents would always say to me that you must believe in yourself and anything that you do, you've got to believe you need to give 110%, not 100%, but you've got to believe regardless, we've all had our trials and tribulations. I've most definitely had mine. Um, for many years, I was a single mom and I had to believe that I would meet someone. I pu pull myself up on my bootstraps and one step in front of the other. As they say, Rome was not built in a day. It's one step at a time. And sometimes, you know what, you take five steps forward, ten steps back, and you know what, you get back up again. You've yeah. got to. Do you have any advice for single moms that are watching? Do I have any advice for single moms? You know what, there is no book on parenting. We only can do the best that we can do. Um, I had incredible parents. I still have my, still have my dad with me. Um, but so many lessons from both my mom and my dad, my yin and my yang, definitely. Um, I've learned a lot. and. What I can say is, once again, there really is no book on parenting. I know you can go to the bookstore and find many books, but no one has all of the answers. It's trial and tribulation. And you know what? I learn from my children every single day. Would you say that you are more similar or different than your character, Hope on Days of Our Lives? Well, we like the same things. <laughs> Jewels, of course, um, in fashion. Uh, we're similar in a lot of ways and not similar in a lot of ways. There are things that I definitely would not handle the way hope is handled. And sometimes I wish I had that gusto and that like fear, fear, fearlessness of just going for it. Um, I'm a little more analytical, um, definite perfectionist. Um, I try to think with maturity to think before jumping. Hope sometimes still jumps before thinking. Um, but you know what? Life is a learning experience and I'm continuing to learn um, as Christian and so is Hope. 